All right, so you're gonna be starting with a bar that's right around shoulder height. You're going elbows on it, about shoulder width apart. And then what we're doing is actually trying to press that away from us. So we're thinking about, if you watch the hand and watch the elbow, we're thinking about that action there. So it's almost like you're trying to go from here to there, right? It's that thought, you're driving internal, external rotation. And if you watch the scap there on the back side, we're trying to actively drive that forward this way. And we're gonna go, once we're in that position where uh, spine here is neutral, so we're trying to tuck the pelvis, posteriorly tuck the pelvis, and we're trying to get here with these resting on the bar from there, we're then going to sink until you get feel like you get in range, and then we're gonna actually try to externally rotate as far as we can. So where you should really feel this is the external rotators of the shoulder, and then also kind of in the scap um, right along the uh, inferior and superior, or inferior and lateral border of that scap there. So set up, elbows on, tuck the pelvis, keep the head neutral, and then we're going to sink. As we sink, we're doing that action where we're trying to drive the scaps up and under, and then from here, once we're in this position, we're now trying to actually actually rotate the arms however much we can while holding that position. We don't want a huge shrug as we go down, right? We want to kind of keep that neutral and then drive it away and then actually rotate. And this could be either for a hold or for rest. If it's for a hold, then you're just holding in this position. If it's for reps, then you're gonna go from here to there, out, back, reset, 